Hello and welcome again. In this video, I am going to show you how you can download and install OS Ticket and configure it in your system. So to do that, I am going to download the OS Ticket. This is their official website. As you can see, it's showing osticket.com. You can directly download it from here. So I'm going to download it. So as you can see, it's saying download the open source edition. It also has a paid edition if you wanted to use, but I'm going to use the open source one. So if you scroll down, as you can see, it has two versions on the open source edition. One is the first one is uh, OS Ticket Core version 1.17.5, and the second one is 1.18.1. Uh, so the first one if you're going to use it make sure you have this requirement like http server running microsoft iss or apache php version 8.0.8.1 and the mysql database version 5.5 plus and for this this is the requirement we have to follow so i'm going to download this one so click over here and it will take you to the github page okay this is the version we are going to download so scroll down and you will see this particular option if you click it it will download as you can see it's downloading right now okay now it's downloaded let's open this file okay so it's now downloaded we are going to unzip this file over here so it's now extracting okay so this is the file i'm going to configure this on my xam server so to do that we are going to open the xam folder which is in c drive then this is the folder for the apache so we are going to paste it over here If you're using any Linux server, then you have to host it on your Apache or NGIX software, whichever you are using on their WW folder. So I have pasted over here. Now, if I just open my control panel of XAM, now we are going to open the admin. Okay, so this is the file. Click over here, then upload. Okay. It's saying thank you for choosing OS ticket. Okay, all this thing. This is the pre request requests that we are going to uh, follow. It's saying before we begin, we will check your server configuration to make sure you made the minimum requirement to run the latest version of the OS ticket. So these are the important thing that we need, like PHP version 8.0 or greater. Okay, I have this version installed and the MySQL I extension for PHP module loaded. These are the uh, recommendation extension that we have to follow. It's saying you can use OS ticket without this, but you may be not able to use all the features. Suppose uh, it's saying that I have uh, this following extension enabled in my XAM, but these are not enabled. I'm going to show you how you can enable these things. So it will help you to do that. So let's see that it's saying that PHP IMAP extension is required for mail fetching. Though, although I'm not using the mail system, but I'm going to show you how you can enable it. So just copy this extension like this. Now go to the C drive. I am on the C drive. Now exam. if you scroll down, you will find an option called PHP open that now if you scroll down a bit you will find a file called php.ini right click and edit that file now we are going to search for the imap okay as you can see this is the extension if you remove this colon and save this file this particular extension is going to be enabled as I mentioned, I'm not using the mailing system, so I'm not doing it. So, but you can do that. Uh, you can do this from here. So let's continue. Okay. It's saying configuration file is missing. This is uh, the OS uh, ticket installation required ability to write and configure configuration file. Okay. Which is located over here. 
it is giving us the solution just rename the sample file okay so we are going to rename this ost sample.config file to this one so let's just copy we are going to the c drive again and then zam after that this is the folder we have loaded uh, open this file and it said that it's under the include folder so let's open it now we are going to scroll down and this is the file it's saying waste ticket basic installation please fill out the information below to continue your waste ticket installation all fields are required so we are going to put a name over here that going to be your help desk name i'm going to use my channel name you can use any name whichever suited for you this is the default email so i'm going to use any email like uh, this is just a fake one okay this email does not exist so i'm going to use this one but you can use any email which is required which you wanted to be used that going to be your default email and uh, next is admin user so we are going to add a admin user over here so let's say it will be admin post you can put any name like into and this is the last name email id for the admin user so i'm going to use this one make sure both emails are different this one and this one both are different so i'm going to use this one username using this one password make sure you remember this username and password this is the username to log in on your admin portal now we have to create a database for this waste ticket so to do that we are going to the mysql admin it will open the my php, PHP my admin so to configure that we are going to create a new database so we are going to click on the new let's say it will be test 2 this is the new database name i'm going to create okay the database is now created as you can see it's created now you have to create a user who have access to this database so click on it go to the privileges if you scroll down you will see this option add user account click on this you can put any username i'm going to use the same name but you can use a different username if you like then local make sure the host name will be local and local host this is the password for the user that we are going to create and that can access this particular database if you scroll down a bit you will find global privileges we are going to give all the access to this user that we are going to create then scroll down and click on go we are saying you have added a user now we are going to the database name that we have created this is the database name and the username that we have created put it and install now doing stuff please wait while we are install your new support ticket system okay it's saying congratulations your OS ticket installation has been completed successfully okay now you can see it's saying post install setup you can log in your admin panel and do all these things this is the commercial support if you need so this is your os ticket gate so this is your os ticket url that your customer or your client going to use to raise ticket from here they can raise the ticket like help topic help topic they want like feedback general inquiry report a problem they can raise from here but before that we have to configure that so we are going to use the staff control panel okay so this is the admin panel now we are going to use the id over here the admin id we just created so let's log in okay we are inside the os ticket and it's successfully installed so as you can see we have to configure all of these things i'm going to create a separate video on this else it will be too long but i can show you one thing like suppose you wanted to know what this particular thing is does 
So you can just click over here on the question marks and it's saying that determine how long you would like to keep the system logs before they are deleted. So it's uh, normally saying that this is the uh, logs that going to delete and this is the time. It's saying after 12 months. So you can select it from here. There are a lot of options. You have to configure those. If you go to the dashboard, you can see this is the dashboard and the basic information over here like used for image manipulation and PDF printing you can enable all those PHP extension that I've shown before this is the setting and this is the agent you can create agent and user over here I'm going to create a separate video to configure the OS ticket after installation but if you find this video any helpful, please like the video, subscribe my channel and I'm going to see you to the next video. Thank you.